What are the three gifts that a good enough mother gives her children? Gift number one, she exposes the child to risks. Yes, you heard me correctly. Gift number two, she pushes her child away from her. And gift number three, she mediates reality. She organizes reality. She interprets reality for the child. Let's review some of these functions. Exposing the child to risks. In medicine, we have the hygiene hypothesis. Children should be exposed to pathogens, bacteria, viruses, dirt, in order to develop the kind of immune, immune response which prevents allergies. One of the main reasons that asthma and other allergies are, had exploded among children is because parents are too protective. They are trying to prevent the child from contracting any kind of disease. Uh, it's a no-no to eat soil or dirt. It's a no-no to not wash your hands as a child. And so the good parent, the good mother, exposes her child to risks. Risks are messages. Risks are signals about reality. The child needs to experience risk in order to learn what to avoid in the future. A good enough mother pushes the child away from her. She encourages the child to separate from her, to become an individual, indivisible, divisible from her. She encourages the child to venture out into reality, into the world, to grandiosely take on other people, environments, situations, circumstances. She pushes, puts herself aside as an observer, spectator. She does not interfere. She does not intervene. She is not overwinning or domineering. She doesn't blackmail the child emotionally. We'll come to it a bit later. The good enough mother pushes her child away. That's function number two. And function number three, when the child takes on reality in the form of peers, in the form of circumstances, mother should be there. Mother should be there to help the child organize the world, understand the world, comprehend it and interpret it. This is the third function of, of mother. Their role is to make sense of the world, to introduce the child to the rules of society as socialization agents, to acquaint the child with the rules of nature. This is hot. Don't touch it. It will hurt. They are the ones who buffer the child, at once allowing the child to properly interact with reality without any firewalls and without any partitions, and on the other hand, helping the child navigate these new uh, rapids, these new shores, this terra incognita.